Hi everybody, how are we doing? Welcome back to my channel, it's Nidhi. I hope you guys are doing very well. Um, it is Friday night, I have a tea. It's like 8.30, so cozy. I'm gonna read a book after this. I'm so excited for this video. As you guys know, I don't upload on YouTube as often anymore. Um, I pop in about once a month with like a deep questions or a mental health or like a life update like you guys asked for. Um, and so this is that. I asked you guys uh, what kind of video you want to see and people were torn between book review, life update, and reacting to lesbian thirst traps on TikTok. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go with the life update one. <laughs> Anyways, before anything, look at my new earrings. We're gonna take a second to thank this video's sponsor, Ana Luisa. So I've worked with Ana Luisa a billion times already. You guys already know about them if you've been watching me. They make beautiful jewelry from earrings, bracelets, necklaces, jewelry boxes, extenders, um, ear cuffs, all kinds of things, um, starting at $39 US. And they're having a sale right now for 20% off. So I'm gonna put the discount code down below. It's Nidhi20. Um, you guys can get 20% off of the entire site. If you guys are looking to get any presents for the holidays, this would be an excellent time to do so. Um, they have stuff for everybody. And that's what I have said since the beginning of me working with Ana Luisa is that I feel like I can find something for every mood of mine and every person in my life. So I want to show you guys things I picked up this time. I'm already wearing one of them. I wear these every day now. Um, I'll show you guys a close up. They are a hoop. I love a hoop. I have collected so many hoops from Ana Luisa and I will get every new hoop that they introduce because I love a hoop. Um, this one's a little bit heavier I've noticed. Like I do feel like I notice that I'm wearing an earring, <laughs> um, whereas their other hoops are much lighter. So I think it's just a bit thicker. Um, it has the same clasp as most of their other hoops, which is nice um, and super sturdy. Like it's pretty hard to lock it into place and to take it out. The other thing I picked up, these earrings were so cool. I feel like I browse on Luisa's website all the time and I had never seen this before. So I think they might be new. They have like a bit of a chain like they're a dangling earring, they have a bit of a chain and then they have this little like droplet. For one, I like the repetition in the earrings, like there's a little thing that's similar from one piece to another. And secondly, I've never seen something like, like the chain on top, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. The chain and then the little droplet, I haven't seen that mix, that duo before. Um, like the chain on top looks like it'll be a bracelet, you know, so I kind of like the mixing of the two styles. Um, and I feel like it matches with a lot of things. Last thing I got was a bracelet. I It's my new thing to wear an everyday bracelet. <laughs> so I went with this one. Um, I like how thick the actual um, design is. Like they have a lot of thin pieces and they have a lot of really thick bracelets. And this one was like right in the middle. So I love this. I've been wearing it every day since I got it. I really like it. I feel like these three pieces were one of the most exciting bunch of things that I ordered. Like don't get me wrong, I'm always excited to receive jewelry, but um, this bunch of stuff, I don't know, I hadn't seen it before, especially the long dangling earrings. And I would highly recommend uh, some holiday shopping if you guys would like with my code, which is down below, nidhi 20 for 20% off. Anyways, you guys, we're gonna get into the video. Um, I asked you guys <clears throat> what you wanted to talk about. And a lot of you said mental health update, which I thought was the cutest thing. Like out of all the things that you could ask for to be filmed of like random stuff, that's such a caring thing to be like, you wanna just talk about your health actually? I do kind of get where you guys are coming from in terms of like a lot of you just asked for an update or a life update or something. I know that I don't upload on YouTube as often as I used to. I was very consistent with two times a week or then I changed it to once a week um, and that stopped and I'm very sorry about that. I think I'm still trying to find the words for it, which is why I haven't like explained it more. Um, I think it happens a lot with people who are online that you share parts of your life online and then you go through this period where you just want peace and privacy. And I think I'm in that right now. I felt so good about the podcast that I released and that felt like the most me thing. That felt like what I was supposed to be making, what I was supposed to be putting out into the world. And then after that, I had a hard time going back to different kinds of videos. Like I, I I feel like I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> I feel like I have nothing to share with you guys. Like I don't know how I came up with two topics a week or even one topic a week. Like right now, I, I don't know what it is. I feel like I, I don't have anything to share. And it's not because exciting stuff isn't happening and like life isn't moving forward. It's just that I feel like I'm navigating a bit more towards privacy and 
YouTube is the only platform that you can't limit who sees your videos. Um, TikTok and Instagram, you can block people, you can, if you get mean comments or negative things or whatever, you are in control of who sees that and who doesn't. And YouTube is one of those platforms that you just don't know. Anyone can look at anything, you know? And I think that's why I've navigated a bit more towards TikTok and Instagram because there is more control there of like who sees my content. So I don't mean to abandon my my first uh, platform that like I really started on, but I just find a lot more comfort and control in uh, TikTok and Instagram. So if you guys are uh, upset or like sad <laughs> that I don't upload here as often, I say it in most of my videos now, um, I really recommend you go follow me on TikTok or on Instagram if it is not available in your country um, because I'm a lot more active there and I answer people there and I share stuff there. Um, so yeah, that's that on that. <laughs> For my mental health update, there's a couple of things I wanna say. Um, for one, the main thing is my work. My workplace right now, I feel like is undoing so much trauma. <laughs> I have had so many toxic workplaces, okay? Like so many. Um, and I don't think I have fully realized how toxic they were until now when I'm at a workplace that is very respectful and sets boundaries and I feel safe with the management. Like that has never been a reality. If I really think about it, like every single job I've had, I, it has never felt this uh, secure or safe to communicate uh, issues or concerns, like, you know? And I really feel like this job is meant, first of all, I think everything happens for a reason. And I think that this job's purpose is probably to rewire some things. Um, and for me to see how healthy management and team function is supposed to happen. <clears throat> and that has been really heavy in my mind these days because for the first like first of all i worked as a marketing associate i don't know if you guys already knew that but anyways i started there in july i pay a lot of attention to the signs that are happening around you or like when the the world is trying to tell you something and i feel like in the short span that i've been at this job i have been faced with a lot of the issues that i was faced with in previous jobs and it has put me in the exact same position as i once was um and I really felt like this was the universe being like, here you go, here it is again. Like deal with this issue again in hopefully a healthy way um, and see how it goes. <laughs> so many issues came up again that I've had in other jobs and I was like so scared to bring them up because I've either been gaslit by other managers or the line of communication was never open or whatever, whatever the case was. I was nervous about the coworkers, like there's always been something and I didn't realize how bad it was until now where I really feel like, like this is what, this is what HR and management is supposed to be like. The fact that I can come home from work and have a whole other evening not related to work is crazy to me. That's crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> in my previous jobs, I had zero work-life balance, like negative work-life balance. And my evenings were about work. My Every time my phone would go off, I'd be like like nervous, like it was like a trigger. Like I'd be like, oh my God, is my boss messaging me? Um, I was accessible all the time. There was never a time that I felt like I wasn't working. And so now, the fact that I can come home and have a whole evening not related to work is absolutely crazy to me. Like it, it's like, like it's, it's really crazy. I, it makes no sense. That was one of the first things that I put a lot of importance on when I was in the hiring process of this job. I was like, what are your communication styles for one? And two, what is your work-life balance like? Um, and they assured me that like, those are two of their top priorities. So it was like really a good conversation. Um, and I was still nervous going into it because I've had a lot of places be like, yes, we love work-life balance. And then they've been like, never mind. Um, so here I actually feel like they said it and then they meant it. And that's really nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm finding a bit more of myself again, which is so wholesome. <clears throat> when you have time for yourself and for your family and the things that you enjoy and you don't 
constantly feel like your nervous system is all out of whack because you're working 24 7 um, beautiful things happen. Secondly, a little health update. Um, I know that I have never fully talked about my health issue online. I probably will keep it that way. Um, but I do want to mention like baby steps. Okay. Basically, uh, two years ago, as you guys know, I had some health issues <laughs> and at the time it really, really reduced my mobility, um, to the point where like I couldn't sit up. I couldn't uh, sit down, I couldn't tie my hair, I couldn't open the door, like a lot of everyday things were very painful and near, it felt near impossible. Um, and I, it's been like such a mental game to try to move past that. Like I, I've said it before, but like when your mind and body don't align, it is the scariest thing. Like. I don't know a time where I have felt more confused or like lonely because your mind feels like you can do anything, you can run a marathon and then your body is not allowing you to sit down like something that should be very natural, you know? So this whole health stuff like truly I think brought me to my rock bottom um, and I have been climbing up since and I feel like finally I'm getting to a place where I feel a bit more in control and I don't cry. <laughs> I hiked for the first time in the two years. I did my favorite hike ever and it was really emotional for me. Jasmine, Jasmine went with me. My friend Sarah was supposed to come too but scheduling didn't work. Um, and it just felt like one of those moments where you, you notice that you're taking your power back. Um, I, kept stopping the hike and like crying a little bit because I was like I literally two years ago thought that I would never get to do this again like and I don't mean to sound dramatic like it's just that the, what happened like the health stuff that happened was the scariest thing I've ever been through and truly still till now we don't know if it's gonna come back or how it's gonna affect my life or like what like we don't know and so all of the what-ifs make you feel like somebody else is controlling your life and you're like okay well what's the point you know and i really felt like i wouldn't get to do the things that i loved again and so although i'm trying to look at the silver lining good things came from it i started pottery um i started reading because i needed to do something else with my time i always felt that hole of not doing something physically active um so i've been doing my therapy i have been doing my work and i started like I said, I go on my hikes again. And the other day, like just the other day, like four days ago from when I'm filming this, I went to badminton again for the first time. I used to play all the time. I am so good at badminton, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'm like really good at badminton. Anyways, I went back for the first time since my whole health stuff. Uh, and I played like a solid three games. The only other time that I had gone back after my health stuff, I played for I think seven minutes and it was a warm up. It was just a rally. And then I got too scared and too in my head being like, it's gonna happen again. I should not have done that. That was too physically intense for me, you know, whatever. And this time I played a whole three games and I won one. I played with my family, so that was really nice because everybody, like it was my parents, my siblings, uh, Jad's and then my sister's partner. So it was literally all like all the, my favorites and they are all really aware of my health issue and like the anxiety that comes with it. So that too, when I started to spiral, they were all there being like, you're fine. Um, and I just, I cried afterwards too, <laughs> cause I was so happy. The next morning was really hard. I thought I was going to have the attack or like episode again, I guess. Um, and then when, when it didn't happen, I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, this is crazy. Anyways, that's pretty much my update i guess i just talked about work and my health update but you guys wanted a life update and those two things were related to mental health so i do miss speaking to you guys i miss i do miss youtube i just wish it was a bit more some of a platform that protected creators um but please come talk to me on instagram or on tiktok we can chat there about whatever you guys like and i hope that you guys are doing well i know that this video is going to go up during seasonal depression time so um I know that this time sucks for a lot of people and I'm sending you a lot of love and a lot of warmth and um, 
you're never alone and if you feel that way please do reach out and um yeah, this is nice. I do. I really miss YouTube. Once I sit down and start filming, I'm like, ah, oh, yes, this is why I love this. Um, anyways, I do want to remind you guys that you guys can get 20% off of Ana Luisa uh, with my code down below. Um, a good time to pick up some presents for yourself or for friends and family for the holidays. They have pretty much everything you could be looking for, um, for earrings and bracelets and necklaces. Um, and they have a lot of new stuff that comes up quite often. So if you pick anything up, do let me know. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you understand why I'm taking it so slow on YouTube. And I hope that you join me on other platforms. My name is Nidstrukla on both TikTok and Instagram. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Bye.